This is the Yershu Mishnah Bura as we begin the Hil- uh, Simin Kof Ayin Beis. We skipped a little bit over here so we could try to catch up. And the Simin Kof Ayin Beis, the Mechaber coins, Mishaechlis, Eichlun Umashkin Lepev, Buloi Bracha. This is within the Allahs of Dvarim and Hagin, Pesuda, the different Allahs that are applicable during a Seuda. So says the Mechaber, Shachach. One forgot. It happens. He put something into his mouth without a bracha. What do you do? Says the Machaber Bailan. You swallow it. Too late. You have a liquid in your mouth. You forgot to make the bracha. What do you do? You swallow it. And that is the end of it. And you lost, you lost the bracha. Continues the Ramah, V'yishayim d'vavarach aleyem, some say you still do make a bracha, V'chein nira ikr. And that is the main pshat, says the Ramah. Continue, and that's the end of Sif Aleph, excuse me. So says the Macha, says the Mishra Bura Sif Katan Aleph, Bolan, you swallow what's in your mouth, says Mishra Bura, why is she after the Bolan, you can't spit it out, it's disgusting to spit out liquids from your mouth. And you'll lose the liquid. What about to move it to one side of your mouth? Into one of your cheeks. And make a bracha. As we're going to see in a moment, it's a phase that we're going to do for foods. Says Mr. Bura, for liquids, we cannot do this. Why? You can't talk while there are liquids in your mouth. Helkach, therefore. Hitir leil ba'olan. Chazal allowed you to swallow it. V'kasu b'levuche sarat. Demech lez ma'at mepev yoch levarich al yidi adachak yivarich. If you have a drop of liquids in your mouth and you can make a bracha um, with difficulty, then you're allowed to. The Sharetzin over here points out that even according to the Rach, that the Magen Abraham quotes, in no case you make a bracha. Shmatim v'shem she'ar zura v'yaz v'ra kolom t'ikol pirish Rashi. They go with Rashi. That theoretically, if one could, with difficulty, give to the Zara of Mimot to liquid and make a bracha, then that would be allowed. Ve'inu mevarich, sivkot and beis, says Mishtavura. Yeshayim rin d'chol zed davka kishayin lo yoyser mashkin lishtois. Some say this is only when there's no more liquids to drink. And you need these drinks, as we quoted the first Mishtaburo, which was Rashi, that if you spit it out, you lose the liquid. Aval and Yesh lo yoyser. Let's say you have more to drink. Yif lo yit lo yohana bli bracha. Then you should spit it out. And don't get to know that a bracha v'chein ra'yu linuk. So Mishtaburo paskins that what's ra'yi, what's appropriate to do, what's appropriate to do is to spit it to spit it out. Now, how this works with the world of the Ramah, we'll see in a moment. Once you swallowed, you lost that bracha. If you make a bracha, you came along the Ramah, as the Mishmur explains in Sivkat and Dalid, and the Ramah says, no, what does that mean? We have a fascinating entity that even though you already drank the drink, after you drink the drink, you'll make the bracha. Remember, after the meal, you don't make a bracha. The shiny bracha, this is different. You remembered while the liquid was in your mouth. Therefore, at that moment, you have a bracha. It's a little bit, almost like you're making the bracha right before. And I'll show you, Yachla Varcha weren't able to chin lo niftam in a bracha. So the Ramah Paskins make a bracha after you swallow. Says Mr. Brura. Says that that's Reva Paiskim is to do what? Swallow without a bracha. And you only make a bracha. Rabba. But we'll point out that the Mishtabura himself, I'm just looking over here at the Sharetziyan, that the Mishtabura himself, um, the Mishtabura himself taught us that even if you the first day of what's Ra'i, Ra'i is to spit it out. So I guess we would say that Allah Chalamaisa is, the simple Allah Chalamaisa is to swallow, like the Deir Rishayna. 
and not to make a bracha afterwards, but the appropriate thing to do is to spit it out if you have more liquids and it's not such a dire situation, and then continue by drinking more, obviously, and then making the bracha prior like you're supposed to. We continue with Sif Bey, he says, the mechaber, bracha. What if you put in food in your mouth? If it's not going to get disgusting, take it out of your mouth and make a bracha. It's not going to to one side of your mouth and make a bracha. Says the Mishnah Brush, like something hard that you can remove your mouth, it's not gross. Take it out and make a bracha. Why? Because we want our mouth to be empty when you make a bracha. As the Apostle says, your whole mouth should be filled with the praise of Hashem. There shouldn't be anything in your mouth. Says the Eshkol from here, we learned that it should be Malay P. It should be a full mouth with the bracha, and it should not be in the gam game. Your bracha should not be all messed up. Then you should not take it out of your mouth. Over here, let's see for a moment the dear shoe. Dear Shu says, note number one over here, that they allow you to swallow it because we have no choice. What's the reason that they allow you to swallow that abracha? Because you're going to lose the food. Even though you're not allowed to get a hand off in this world that abracha, says there's some Islam in Arbach. The Isser to eat without a bracha is not an Isser onto itself. It comes from the obligation that Chazal required you to make a bracha. And therefore, when one is in a situation where he cannot make a bracha, there's no Isser Achila, there's no Isser to eat or drink in that moment. And therefore, if one is obligated to make a bracha, then he would have to lose the mashkin and, excuse me, if we were to obligate you right now to make a bracha, you would lose the food in your mouth. Therefore, Chazal did not require such, and rather they allowed you to swallow without a bracha. Some Zalman continues, this is only if you're going to lose the liquids, but in a scenario or food that you're not going to lose, and you could save them, for example, Nishchub Bar's Vakashen Arayel Bracha, then you don't have a hetzer in such a scenario. And that's similar like the Mishnah Bura said, that if you have more liquid, what should you do? Then you should take it out of your mouth and spit it out and make a bracha on the other liquids. Um, the... Tirshu over here points out, uh, yeah, the Tirshu over here is making sure it's the same note. It's always a little bit confusing. So when he's very thirsty at night and he's not able to wash his hands, you learned in Zim Zam Chabez, he can be Mahar the Bracha and drink. The Mati Huda says you should not be Saimichan thinking in the Bracha. And therefore, in our case, so to the Mati, Yehuda would agree, you have no other scenario. Um, okay, I and mean, we've we spoken back then, the Bishwara says at least just wipe off your hands on something, and then you're going to make the bracha. Now, dear uh, Shadun number two, on the Chen Ra Yulinag, that what's the appropriate thing to do is to spit out the liquids. What about something that gets disgusting, the Shulchan Aruch and Sif Bey says, move it to the side of your mouth, and the Bishwara over there does not say, if you have more food, take it out of your mouth. And obviously, over here we're saying if you have more liquid, spit it out. Sif Beis, we said, just move it to the side of your mouth. Why don't we just say, if you have another bite, just throw out that food. To mashma, there's a chalitin, food and drinks. Similarly, the Chayodim says the same thing, that by food, you don't have to get out of, you don't have to remove it. But by liquids, then you have to spit it out. To explain this, says that when it comes to liquids, if you don't spit it out, then what? you're going to be considered drinking without a bracha. Therefore, it's better to lose them. When it comes to food, they are able to make a bracha while it is in your mouth. You just lose the mailah of your mouth. You don't have to lose food for the mailah. So we're getting a limit over here. When do we say that you have to actually lose the food if you're going to end up drinking something without a bracha? But if just the mailah that your mouth is supposed to be clean, then for that, we're going to tell you to put it on the side of your mouth 
and make a bracha. Rav Chaim adds on that even by liquids, if you have a way to swallow part of the liquid and to leave part of it in your mouth, you can still make a bracha, you should do that. And that's what Mishmur is ma'asrma. And we'll point out that his diok is for when the Shmur said you have a little bit of liquid, you should make the bracha. So one might be thinking, okay, but anytime I'm going to try to make a bracha within my mouth, a little bit is going to seep into my mouth. But over there, that is where Rav Chaim Pech is saying is that for that, we will allow you to lose a little bit and therefore not lose the food. Mirza Sham, we will pick it up from Simon Kuf Ayin Gimel in the next shear.